All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is week number four. I'm going to kind of run through the algebra talk with you. Okay, so this is week number four. And this is the algebra talk. All right. So this week it says, if x is 6, what is the value of each expression? Okay, so we've got to do the math. And then explain the strategy that you use to find each value. Once you have completed your post, respond to a friend's post. So let's kind of run through these together. All right, so number one is x plus 4. So remember, I'm just going to put it over here, x equals 6. So now I'm going to substitute. 6 for x, so I'm going to rewrite my equation, 6 plus 4, and that equals 10. That was pretty good. That was pretty straightforward. Got that one. All right, so let's go to 2. 2 is 7 minus x. Remember, x is still 6. Rewrite the equation, 7 minus 6 equals 1. Now, so you're thinking to yourself, okay, so what do we mean by strategy? Well, this is the strategy. Okay, you're physically doing it. So in your response in the discussion board, if you write out the equation, that was the strategy you chose. You're showing how you did it. Okay, so let's move to number three. Okay, three is x squared. Okay, remember x is six. So it's six squared, okay, which is six times six, and that would then equal 36. Okay. Again, this is you showing your work or the strategy that you used. Last one is one third x. So this means that it's one third times whatever the variable x is. Okay. This one you may have had a little more difficulty understanding what you're doing. So I'm going to put x equals six over here again. So that means it's one third times 6. And I'm just putting it in parentheses just so we don't get all confused. You could have it 1 third like that. Okay. But that to me gets a little confusing. So I don't really like to draw it that way. Write it that way. So 1 third times 6. Now I need to turn the 6 into a fraction. I'm going to keep my little multiplication symbol. So I'm going to put the 6 over 1. Now the joy about multiplying fractions, again, it just goes straight across. 6 times 1 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. Now, Ms. Tyler does not require you to uh, simplify. So 6 thirds would definitely be the way to go. I like to simplify. 3 goes into 6 2 times. So you have a whole number of 2. And remember, all of this is you showing your strategy. Alright, guys have a great day. Hope that helped.